When you buy a bucket of ink, most likely that ink has been in storage for a while before it got to your shop. When an ink has been sitting for a while, the ink develops what is called a false body, which is a technical way of saying it stiffens up. The best way to prep this ink for printing is stirring the ink. This will break up this false body. Think of ink like peanut butter. When it's been sitting for a while, it's stiffer than usual and it may have a little bit of oil on top. When mixed well, it creates a nice creamy texture. Inks are going to work the similar way. Over time, some chemistry will settle out a little bit. This can be seen as liquid on top of your ink. Giving the ink a stir will help mix everything back together and get it ready for the press. Another benefit to stirring the ink, it'll warm up. Ink will perform best around 80 degrees. Warm ink will always print better than cold ink. Stirring your ink will get you started, but the best way to warm your ink is to use the heat coming off of the platen while you do your test prints. You'll feel the difference in the ink as you move it around. While we recommend stirring all of your inks, thicker, longer bodied inks need to be stirred longer and warmed up in order to get the best performance during production. While brands like FN only need minimal stirring, you will still see an improvement, but it won't be as dramatic as a thicker ink. There's a few ways to prep your ink for production. Grab your ink spat and give it a whirl. This takes a little bit of elbow grease. With a little effort, you can stir inks like FN with just an ink spat. For inks that have really stiffened up, a drill with a mixing blade stirs the ink for you and does it quicker than you would be able to by hand. It will also get the ink warmer than mixing by hand. Start slow so ink doesn't fly everywhere. Stir and warm up your ink before you start printing. Prep your ink properly and you'll have a much easier time on press. Hit like and subscribe if this video helped. We'll see you next time.